If your home is at the bottom of the hill in the subdivision and steep hills are above you, in other words, the neighbor's property is higher than yours, water will flow down those hills and cause problems on your driveway, your foundation, or just lay in your yard. The answer is to put in a French drain, and that's that gravel perforated pipe that you see there along the driveway. This is a great project for the do-it-yourselfer. A simple French drain consists of gravel, perforated pipe, and solid pipe for your discharge. This video shows an extension of an existing French drain we put in about four years ago. The second part of the video shows a different product called Easy Flow, and this is the same thing as gravel perforated pipe, but it's self-contained, and you can buy this at Lowe's or Home Depot, comes in 10-foot sections, makes the trench a little bit easier, it does cost a little bit more. Let's take a look. Hey, good morning, Chuck here at the Apple Drains. We've been to this house before, maybe about four years ago, and we put in a gravel perforated pipe, the French drain, all along the driveway, working great. But she wants to extend this, and you can see our pipe down here. There's our gravel perforated pipe. We're just gonna extend it down through here about 40 feet. And you can see how wet and muddy it is here. A lot of mud coming through here. So we need to put in a gravel perforated pipe up into this area here. And that should pick up this water coming from the hill. So when you're digging, remember to dig backwards. It's a lot easier. Drive your shovel down in, just wedge it down through there. Get as much as you can on your shovel. If you wiggle it, get it down in the dirt. Then when you come back, you just clean out your trench and you're done. Real simple job. So basically, real forward, straightforward French drain. You can see our old existing line right here. We're gonna attach to this, the gravel perforated pipe. You can see all the water that just lays on top of the ground. And that's why you need the gravel, so that it can help get down through that soil into your system. And then of course the pipe's gonna carry it away. So now we're just rolling out just enough pipe to get down in the trench, about 30 feet. Looks good, go ahead and cut that off. See, even when you buy a 100 foot roll, sometimes they put an insert in there. You can leave that insert right there. And we're gonna hook it up right here, so go ahead and clean this out. So this is a really easy job if you've got a trailer. As you can see, we're parked right on the driveway and the French drain is actually here because the driveway floods. So if you've got the trailer, you just pull right up and you can shovel it right into your trench. Right now we're just making a little base of gravel that looks good that way. We're going to bring it all the way down through the trench. And then we're going to lay that perforated pipe out and we're going to cover it up. So we're putting on our tee. It's got an insert that you have to squeeze together. You gotta squeeze that pipe really tight together, really tight. And it'll slide right inside the other pipe. Just twist it. There it goes, perfect. And then we've got a coupling on the other side where we're just gonna snap it in place. Put our coupling together. Now we're ready to go ahead and cover up this thread. So basically we're just filling up this trench all the way to grade with gravel. We'll come back and rake that up and make it a little cleaner. But we want the gravel to come to grade here so that as that water comes down the hill, it's just going to come right over, flood, drop right through those rocks down to the bottom of the trench. And then it will be picked up by the pipe as, it, as the water floods into the trench from the bottom into the pipe and it will be carried away. So a real simple French drain installation. We, we don't really call them French drains, we call them gravel perforated pipe, but you can see how high the hill is here coming from the neighbor's yard. Water comes down, you can see the, the mower tracks in the yard here. It just floods this area. We connected to our existing French drain on the other side, and as you can see this driveway has been nice and dry ever since, but if you notice the water here just from two days ago, this water has no place to go, so we just connected it to our, our French drain. Need help with your project? 
Try our live help video consulting via Skype. Check the website for details. Easy Flow Drain Pipe is manufactured by NDS, National Drainage Systems, and what it is is 4-inch perforated pipe surrounded with styrofoam peanuts encased in geofabric. It's very lightweight. It comes in 10-foot sections. They're about $50 for each 10-foot section. So it's a little bit more costly than gravel, but it does save a lot of time and labor. Makes it very easy for the homeowner to install. We've used this product a few times. It works really well. But to keep our costs down, we prefer to use gravel and perforated pipe. This video shows the installation along a footer, the foundation of the home. It's the same as a French drain, a yard drain. Um, basically, water is going to flood from the bottom of that trench up into and through the peanuts into the pipe and it's carried away. Our discharge is a sump pump. Let's take a look. So what we're using here is called Easy Flow. You need to take those wrappers off of there, Chuck. What we're using here is, is called an Easy Flow system, um, Quick Flow. What this is is there's perforated pipe surrounded by styrofoam peanuts and that's all encased in a fabric. According to the manufacturer, this has a 30% better flow rate than gravel. So if that's the case, this will work outstanding. It'll be the best ever made. But we're gonna give it a try on this job. And the way it goes together, you just stick an insert, push it together, then you're gonna lay it down the trench. Good insert. What we do is we actually take a piece of pipe about six inches long, we cut it in half, squeeze it, and we slide it between the two pieces. And you can see how quick this installs. So now we're going around the corner, a little tight spot there. They'll figure it out. Remember that this is styrofoam, peanuts, encased in fabric with perforated pipe along. We're down below the footer as water floods into the you know, to the trench, as water floods up into the trench, it will be picked up by the styrofoam, flood up into the pipe, and be carried away. So, with our footer tile installed, you can see them backfilling. Comes out really quick. Just fill it up, put all the dirt back, then we'll rake it up and clean it up when we're done. So, we're finishing up the gravel. Gravel by the bag. What we're doing is we've got a base of gravel underneath of our pipe. Now we're pouring a base on top of the pipe. We want to cover that footer so that water drops off of the footer down into our system. You can see that we use two pipes here. We're using the new product with the peanuts. And then we're switching it back to gravel here by the sump pit. So we've got our fabric our soil separator down there, sticking up against our tar, stuck right to it really nicely. And now we're gonna backfill this area, finish this up, we'll be all done. Okay, so we've got our discharge connected here. And this is a pop-up emitter, inch and a half. We just, you know, using a coupling here, but we're enlarging, but this is a reducer. We're large, enlarging to three inch, water will come up and pop out right here. This line travels over to the sump pit, sump pump lifts it up, pumps it out as the water comes up it'll just come out right through here let's go ahead and cover this up so here's our pop-up hey this is Chuck with Apple Drains reminding you that if you believe you can do something I guarantee you can do it have a great day